This is Rafael from the Java Challengers, and today we're going to see a Java Challenger about object reference. Okay, guys, so that's the Challenger, and here we have a string builder. On the second line, we have a string, and then we are passing those variables into this method, and we are changing them here. And in the end, we are printing the values of those variables. So I'm going to give you some time to think about this Challenger. And when you're ready, let me know what is the output of this program. Okay, then, guys, so are you ready? Uh, okay. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, so as you know, we are now running the challengers with Docker, and we already have the blueprint and the, the blueprint for running this challenger. And yeah, I'll just run the Docker Compose command, and then we're going to be able to run this challenger class. So let's see then what is the answer. Ta -da -da. Okay, so it's Dragon Knight and Sword. <laughs> Good job, Rarival. Yeah, oh, you're right, Rarival. I win one. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Man. Congratulations, Rarival. Okay, so let's see why it is this answer. So yes. there are there are three concepts here that are very important. So the first thing we have to understand is what is by value and by reference. So by value means that uh, we would be passing a copy of the value to a method. So Java passes all its values by value. This means that it passes only a copy of the value. So on the other hand, Java doesn't pass anything by reference, but uh, on the language C, for example, we can pass a value by reference. This means that we could pass a parameter to a method, and then if we change this parameter in the method, it would be effectively changed. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just debug here, and then you can see it with more details. Okay, so on this line, we are just initiating the string builder. And on the second line, we are initiating the string. And then we are passing the two variables by value. Because as we just talked about right now, Java passes all parameters by value. So here we are just sending a copy of those two variables. OK, so then we go to this method. And then we append the value of night into the wire profession. So here uh, there is a very important concept. So even though we pass every variable by value in Java, we are also pointing to the same object in the memory. So what's going to happen here? The night is going to be appended to the real object. So the wire profession points to the real object in the memory heap. That's the reason that the wire profession is changed, even outside this method. Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go to the next one. And here we are using a string that is also an immutable object. This means that we can't change a string value. We can only create another object. So as you can see on the string class here, we have only final, final, we have a hash here, but it's encapsulated. But for example, on the value, you can see that we can't change that. And we can see also that the string class is final. This means that we can't extend string. So it's impossible to change the value of a string here. So this is basically an immutable object. And as you can see here, we are not changing the object in the string pool. We are actually just assigning a new one. So here, uh, basically, we're going to be creating another string. And the object won't be changed because it's immutable. It's impossible to change that. OK, so and here the trick is that even though we are passing new to the variable, it won't affect the real object. It will only affect the local variable. So the object from wire profession, for example, will be there. So yeah, it will be there because this instance is still reachable here. So yeah, as it is reachable, then the garbage collector won't collect this object. So it's fine. We would be just assigning new 
to the local variable. Then we can conclude, okay, so the string builder was changed. So now it's dragon knight and the warrior weapon is sword. And if we think, okay, that a string can't be changed, it will be sword. Okay, so we're gonna have dragon knight on the string builder, as you can see here. And on the warrior weapon, we're gonna have only sword because as you know, string is immutable. It's impossible to change a string once it is already with a value, okay? You can only change the local variable that is here, but the object, you won't be able to change it. And if we were passing a primitive type, it's, uh, I mean, a primitive type is not an object, and a primitive type is also passed by value. This means that if we change the value of a primitive type, it will be changed just locally. So it would have actually a very similar behavior of string or any other wrapper type, such as integer or a long or Boolean. So the main takeaways of this challenger is to remember what is the difference between the by value and by reference strategies, what is an immutable and a mutable object, and that primitive types are not passed by reference, but by value. So do you have any questions about this challenger? Yeah, actually, you know, I for one was thinking that, uh, you know, since warrior profession well, I actually made a mistake. Uh, I should have basically known that warrior profession is mutable because it's a string builder class. It's basically coming from the string builder class. But then I thought on the other hand that, uh, you know, since warrior profession is kind of a local to change warrior class method, I thought even though uh, the warrior profession gets appended with knight, it would basically be on a different instance of the same object, which is warrior profession. But when it prints warrior equal to warrior profession, it would only print drag and not dragon knight so i think that's where i went wrong but th this is a good lesson rafael thank you so much okay thanks a lot farah okay then so i'm gonna stop sharing my screen okay guys so that was a challenger about object reference it's highly important to know how object references behave in java because then you can uh, build better code and you can actually know what's happening on your uh, program and yeah as you could see string is an immutable object you could see that string builder is a mutable object and that every java parameter is passed by value so that means that java is passing its parameters just a copy of the value not the real object in the memory okay just remember that if we are using an object we are passing the reference that points to the object, which means that we would be changing the real object. So I highly recommend you to get the code. So I'm gonna put the link here on the video. So it's uh, javachallengers.com slash code, and then you can get the code and run your own tests. And that's the way that you're gonna absorb the content of this challenger, okay? So that's it. And if you like the video, please give a like and if uh, and get also subscribed because in that way you're gonna be helping me out to provide even better videos to you. Okay, so that's it. See you the next time.